Man appeared in court today on charges he shot and killed two teenagers he didn't even know as they were on their way to buy candy. WGN's Gator Hall live with that story. It's so tragic on so many levels, Gainer. It's heartbreaking. Pat and Dina, a prayer vigil for the victims is getting started here shortly. As the gunman in this case, he's 19 years old, now being held without bail. 17-year-old Jay Sean Francis and 16-year-old Charles Riley were friends and students at Hyde Park High School. They didn't know Leroy Battle, but police say a brief encounter with him on Saturday ended with deadly gunshots. Francis and Riley were with another friend. After a trip to the mall, they walked to a gas station to get candy. That's when they saw Battle in line. Prosecutors say the friend who witnessed the shooting noticed Battle had a gun in his waistband. He told his friends that and then asked asked Battle about his height, saying he wished he was as tall so he could play basketball. Police say Battle followed the boys and opened fire multiple times in an alley near 79th and Luella, killing Francis and Riley. It's the only conversation that, that was that occurred. There was no altercation. Um, there was there was nothing that would have set off uh, Battle to be angry at these kids. They literally he's he's about six three six four, and they literally just asked him how how, t how tall he was because he's that because he is extremely tall. I know it doesn't make any sense, and so just imagine how the, how the parents feel. Police released surveillance footage of the gunman who was wearing a dark hoodie, whitewashed jeans, and only one shoe, and prosecutors say he walked with a noticeable limp. He dumped the gun in a garbage can, and surveillance video showed that he returned the next day wearing the same clothes, presumably looking for the gun, but investigators already had it. Police say Battle was arrested hiding out at a hotel in Schiller Park, and he had gotten a haircut. He is now charged with two counts of first-degree murder and was already on probation for aggravated unlawful use of a weapon. Prosecutors say Battle was identified because of numerous tips from the community. Uh, two Chicago police officers also identified him, and police are saying tonight that he did admit that it was him on that surveillance video. He's due back in court on July 15th. Reporting live from South Shore, Gaynor Hall, WGN.